Hello guys, welcome to Dublin the Tech and today we will be unboxing and installing the Deepcool Gamax L240 version 2 and special thanks to Deepcool for sending this product and Deepcool is one of our longest brand partners and been supporting us ever since we reached 1000 subscribers so make sure to support Deepcool as we continue to expand and improve and by the way, this Gamax L240 version 2 is equipped with their latest anti-leak system and patented by Deepcool so ang anti-leak system nila obviously it prevents leakage. Although gamit ko na yung Deepcool Castle 240 and Gamax to L240 yung previous version nito na walang anti-leak system. And so far wala naman akong issue na na-encounter and gamit ko na siya several months now. Wala akong na-encounter ng issue sa leakage, sa pump, sa fan, sa radiator or sa kahit anong part nung mismo nga all-in-one cooler. And yung bago nilang anti-leak system, meron siyang elastic pressure relief bag na nagre-release ng hot air sa loob ng radiator and nilalabas niya yun para mabawasan yung internal pressure and as a result, bababa yung temperature and para ma-avoid yung leakage. So, for more information regarding sa anti-leak system ng Deepcool, you can check the link in the description para mas ma-inform kayo kung paano talaga gumagana yung anti-leak system and nandun yung step-by-step -step details or yung mismong process kung paano nangyayari yun sa loob ng uh, ating uh, cooler. And i-unbox muna natin si Gamax L240 version 2 na may anti-leak system and tingnan natin kung ano yung accessories na included sa box. And yung laman ng ating Gamax L240 version 2 ay brackets for different sockets. So meron siyang thermal paste, meron siyang screws para sa fans and para dun sa pump. And meron siyang dalawang fans na probably RF120 fans to dahil 4-pin yung gamit niya for LED. And kung mapapansin natin, marami mga pagbabago doon sa mga included na accessories natin. Kagaya na lang na wala siyang included na fan hub. Yung kanyang uh, thermal paste is nasa isang sealed plastic na lang. And yung kanyang splitter ay dalawa na lang. So meron siyang splitter for LED and splitter para doon sa 12V. RGB header niya. So, I think ginawa nila yun para ma-reduce yung price and para makalapit pa rin compared doon sa old Gamax L240 which is priced at 4,000 pesos and yung current price ng Deepcool Gamax L240 version 2 is around 4,500. So, hindi pa confirm yan and as of now, wala pa naman masyadong mga Deepcool Gamax na L240 version 2 dito sa Philippine market and hindi ko rin sigurado kung uh, nandito na rin sa Pinas yan. So, as of now, hindi pa rin confirm yung kanyang retail price. And para naman sa specs ng ating Deepcool Gamax L240 version 2, so meron siyang aluminum material para sa kanyang radiator and meron siyang pump speed na 2400 RPM and 17.8 decibels para sa noise level at meron din siyang 3-pin connector. So meron siyang dalawang fan na included din kaya nga nga nasabi ko most likely RF120 fans yun. So meron na itong 69.34 CFM at 30 decibels para sa noise level and gumagamit siya ng 4-pin connector para sa LED niya. And para naman sa RGB, of course, 4-pin 12 volts yung gamit niya. So kung gusto nyo siyang isync, kailangan nyo gamitin yung RGB header na included doon sa box. And let's move on doon sa ating installation ng Deepcool Gamax L240 version 2. And tingnan natin magiging temperature niya and kung may pinagkaibahan ba siya doon sa lumang Gamax L240.
plus natapos din yung ating installation ng ating uh, Gamax L240 and so far wala namang issue na na-encounter. Siguro nahirapan lang ako dun sa orientation ng pump dahil may word na deep cool. So medyo mahirapan kayong i-align kung saan nyo gusto ilagay yon Hindi siya universal pero wala namang issue dun dahil syempre nitpicking na lang yon So tinest ko siya ang different uh, scenarios like naka-open yung side panel and back panel niya and then yung nakasarado lahat ng panels niya. And tinest ko rin yung ating cooling capability ni Gamax L240 on full load. So tinest ko yung stock speed niya and overclock to 3.9 GHz. Overall, mas mataas ang performance niya compared doon sa old Gamax L240 natin ng up to 5 to 10% and I must say na malaki yung naitulong na anti-leak technology ng deep cool. So far, pretty solid ng cooling performance niya and idagdag mo pa yung anti-leak system niya mas na-improve pa yon. In terms of quality and structure, halos wala naman nagbago and yung design lang siguro ng pump, naging deep cool lang yung na logo ng Gamax series and so far sa durability hindi natin madidetermine yan ngayon so siguro kung gusto nyo ng 6 months to 1 year update, just comment down below and gagawa natin ng video yan kung totoo ba talagang nai-improve ng anti-leak system ng deep cool yung temperature and ma-avoid natin yung leakage doon sa ating all-in-one cooler. And that's it guys para sa review ng Deep Cool Gamax L240 version 2. And again, maraming maraming salamat kay Deep Cool for sending this product. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and support nyo na rin ang ating channel by using our Lazada and Amazon affiliate para makagawa pa tayo ng mga maraming reviews. And as always, happy gaming! And bago kong makalimutan, let me know kung ano ang inyong opinion dito sa ating bagong format ng ating video. So kung mas gusto niyo yung lumang style na close-up shot and then voiceover or this one na kahit pa paano may mga preview ng close-up shots ng ating product. And then ako na nagsasalita and then explain yung ating uh, review. So i-comment nyo lang kung ano yung mas trip nyo and happy gaming!